Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Oh, it's just you. Well, I'm about to make a smoothie bowl, so uh, you know, how about how about you stay and uh, and you know and watch watch how the whole process is done. Come on. Cut. No, no, no. You want me to cut? Was the, sorry, I, really, I took the joke too far. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right, ready? Yes. Okay. So this is a smoothie bowl station over here, this general area. Um, usually, you're gonna want to have a cutting board here, and all your topping stuff is gonna go here, along with your protein, granola and other stuff that you add to it, so. All right, so first thing you wanna do, gotcha. First thing you wanna do is put on some gloves. So we have multiple, we have different flavors. We have regular and red flavor. They both work pretty well. But it's not that we got our gloves on. We're gonna go in, this, in here in the freezer and our smoothie bowl jug. So this is gonna have all your stuff in it that you're gonna need for your smoothie bowls. All right. So today I'm gonna to make a Rio. Most of our smoothie bowls are banana and mixed, well, well most of our, all of our smoothie bowls are banana based. The Rio and the Quar are both, both have bananas and mixed berries. But first, what are you doing? Showing them the, <laughs> the recipes. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, did I say that? Yes. All right, and then we're gonna get smoothie bowl jug too. This is uh, this is this is gonna be in the fridge. This is gonna be all the this is gonna be the toppings along with the coconut milk and pineapple juice, which you'll need to blend with the frozen fruit to make it you know actually blend well. Okay, so now we have our, all of our ingredients ready. This is the smoothie bowl blender pitcher bowl thing. I don't know. I don't know what the proper name for this. So you need this. You're gonna want the actual blade component. Pop it in there. And then you're gonna need the top. Don't put that on yet, because you gotta put the stuff in. So I'm making a real, I'm gonna make a small. Uh, so you want ha you want half a banana. So sometimes these will be, be pre-broken in half, sometimes they won't. So you can put a banana in there. I should do like one strawberry. I think that's a good size. I'll do like I don't know, about like a handful, half a handful of blueberries, the same amount of blackberries. So you should probably want like eight blueberries, five red of blackberries. That's about good. All right, so now we have those in there. We add our coconut milk. Now, um, I'd say maybe about half an ounce to start off with. Um, and you just kind of eyeball it. So, but not that much, a very small amount, like you see that, a very small amount. Um, so, it, it, it's actually, it's, it's better to put the, just a banana in first and blend it with the coconut milk without the berries. Um, but if you're in a hurry, this, this works as well. I don't, it, it does make a difference, but I think it's negligible. But you might want to start off with just blending the banana and the coconut milk first. All right, so you're also gonna need, so this is, you sh there should be a bucket, uh, a pan that's got all your tools in it. This is a spatula, this is pretty important as to mixing stuff around and get it shoved down in there. Uh, this is a, well, we'll get this stuff in. All right, so now that you have the top on, and so, so this can get confusing. So this part goes on, and you can't just pop on, it's a, it, it locks, you need to lock it right, and you'll, you'll kind of figure this out as you go. And this goes on top of that. And then you're ready to go. And actually, it's like it's blending up pretty nice. Sometimes it'll give you trouble, and like all the stuff will go to the top. You have to push it back down. But usually, but this is actually good. But I'm gonna. Oh wait, yeah. See, classic example. See, I think it's all blending, but it's not. So I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna call him Trevor. Poke it down. So now I got all that, all that back on the bottom. Put it back on top. Oh, and sometimes it'll get wedged in, in this thing too. Like it's up in there, so watch out for that. So I'll try this again, put it back on, make sure it's locked. So sometimes you just gotta keep it going for a while for the stuff to catch. Sometimes you gotta keep pushing it back down in there. It's really a, Gotta ride the waves, you know. So 
So the, I mean, uh, the the ease of the ease of the blend really depends on how much stuff you put in there, how much milk you put in there, and how much um, and how, how how well the stuff is frozen. Sometimes the stuff gets left out too long and isn't really as frozen as it should be. In which that case, you would use less milk. Okay, so this is taking a bit longer than usual, but this is so. Uh, so that that's what you want it to look like. It's pretty well blended. Um, some people have different preferences, but you can still see some chunks in there. So I like to scoop the stuff off the blade with this guy. Some people do it a different way, but. So this is like the texture you want. It's it's like a smoothie, but it's a bit thicker. It's almost like a soft serve ice cream, or like a you know gelato, like gelato or sorbet. So it's like that. All right. So now that you have the smoothie bowl made or the, the base, you're gonna want to get a bowl. So we're gonna make this for here. So we have two sizes. We have small and large. So. Get yourself a plate here. Make sure you're, if you got junk on your gloves, uh, make sure you don't have junk on your gloves. You don't want to get the, the boulder. So, okay, so we're gonna do that, but first, now that we're done with the frozen stuff, I think it's good practice to put this back in the, fr uh, the freezer. It's just so, um, you know, everything stays nice and frozen. So first things first, we're gonna put some granola in there. You wanna put like a quarter cup or so. Uh, I don't measure it, but it could be good to measure it off when you're first starting out. But you want, you just want to cover the bottom, give it, you know, give it a good amount. Like that, then you're gonna get your smoothie bowl all gooped up here, and just spoon it uh, into the bowl. A little bit extra. But this looks like it's a pretty good amount. We're uh, not quite over the top, we're just almost to the top of the bowl. And then if you have time, I like to even it out, spread it out, stuff like that. Get it all nice, make sure the corners are filled in. It's not that really important, but it's not, if you have time, to make it look nice. It's a good thing to do. All right, so this is a Rio. So we're gonna use half of a banana. So we're gonna peel it. And you want your bananas to be pretty rough. You want you want them to be like you want to have some. If, if if they're still green and just like perfectly yellow, they might not be quite ready. I mean, this is kind of you'll learn more about banana right this later, I guess. But we have a banana slicer here, and uh, you know we could just we could we could slice it pilgrim style with a knife, but you know we're living in the 21st century here, so we have yeah. So just like that, and. Uh, so now we get to the decorate. Now you can really decorate these any way you like. I like, I have a few default designs I stick with. Uh, you can do the classic way, which I think is where you just kind of uh, rim the, the bowl here. Just like kind of put the slices on the rim. Or you can do what I've been doing recently. Something that I think Talia kind of really helped push forward is just kind of like laying them down like this. Like they're all kind of on top of each other. So sort of like that, and it should get to the end of the bowl, like that. So you can do that, so that's what I do. And then you're gonna wanna take, I don't know, for a small, anywhere between like five to like eight blueberries. Take these, and I, I like to just put them along the side here. And uh, I usually, I'll usually do three red, I'll, I'll do three blackberries for the smalls. So I'll take these guys, put them right here, and then, so this is a Rio, so we have, so we're going to put the almonds on, in there, it's got sliced almonds, just a little bit more, like that, and top it off. And what I do, what I'll do is I'll put I'll put the uh, like coconut flakes or almonds, like small things like chia seeds, in the lid. Put a small amount in the lid, and then I'll just kind of lightly sprinkle on top. That way I can kind of control like the portions or whatever. So, Fitness. all right, so that's it. That is a Rio.
Um, so so now, now that we have this, you're going to get a plate. You're going to get a cocktail napkin. Plates are going to be by the bowls. The napkins and the spoons should be in this area, usually. That might change soon. Who knows? And usually, usually we have small spoons. These are the big spoons, but let's just pretend this is a small spoon. Get that down and get that down, and that's ready to serve to wherever the heck ordered it. But wait, there's more. So now that you finish the smoothie bowl, you, to, you, you know, uh, you know, don't be a filthy animal. Uh, don't be a jerk. Um, look at me. Give me the, no one likes. No one likes a dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna clean up after ourselves. Uh, you know, uh, we got ourselves here. We can uh, we can pull ourselves uh, back out. So we uh, we're gonna put that back in there. Don't forget the coconut milk. I always do. Put the caps on, of course. And there. And then um, I usually will just take all these things. Depends on how detailed you want to get. I'll take all three of these things together, and I'll get the lid, get the lid as well. And I'll take them back here. And uh, really, like, all you need to do is give them a good rinse. You can sanitize it if you feel so inclined. You, you don't need to, like, hand wash it with, like, soap water or anything. If, uh, I mean, it's good to do that every once in a while, like, throughout the day, like, make sure they're clean, but a good rinse is fine for, for now. And same with this, you want to make sure you get this. This is where some, uh, a lot of the junk is getting out of it. So, all right, now that it's clean, uh, uh, sometimes it's good to we'll get, we're gonna have this out and pop that in the dry, put those in too if you want. All right, and if uh, the extra banana stuff, the other way, you don't have to wash banana slices every time, but it's good to keep it to rinse every once in a while. Uh, if you feel so inclined, you can wipe down your work area, you can wipe down your knife, but just make sure it's a kind of bathroom, so that's a very thing. So, as you can see, we're almost out of coconut flakes, that needs to be refilled. As you can see, it's also a majority jar, so we need to make sure that we're wiping these jars down fairly regularly. Keeping them stuck, so. Alright, so that's how you make a smoothie bowl. Woo! I forgot that. I